Hi, this is Richard C. I'm a math tutor here at Wisen answering a question submitted by a student. Questions trying to solve, students trying to solve this equation using logarithms. Uh, so I'm just going to copy out the equation here. So it's 11, oops. Okay, so it's 11 to the 9x power. is equal to 17 to the negative x plus 5 power. OK, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to apply the, uh, one of the laws of logarithms. I'll put this, put it here. So it says that the log, this can be any base. Uh, I'm going to write it as base 10. But the log of any base with any base of, let's say, x raised to the a power is just a times the log of x. So when we apply that same law to this equation, you're going to get 9x. You see the power just comes in front, and this becomes log base 10 of 11 equals negative x plus 5 times log base 10 of 17. OK, so that's just a straightforward application of this rule here for logarithms. Now I'm just going to distribute this log 17. Remember log 17, log base 17 is just a constant. You can find it on your calculator quickly enough. I'll do it. So log base 17, log base 10 of 17 is 1.23. Uh, so it's just a constant and you can look it up on your calculator easily. So we'll do this 9x log 11 equals 5 log 17 minus x log 17. So that's just distributing. Now I'm going to bring this x over. So I'm going to get 9x log 11 plus x log, oops, x log 17 equals 5 log 17. OK, I'm going to factor out the x. So we have x times 9 log 11 plus log 17. equals 5 log 17. These are the common logs, log base 10. OK, and then we just divide. So it's 5 log 17 over 9 log 11 plus log 17. And you just look these up on the on your calculator. So we already found that the log of 17 is 1.23. So this is just 5 1.23 over now the log the uh, common log of 11 is 1.04, so 9 times 1.04 plus 1.23. And then you just work that through on your calculator and you have the answer. So the key to this problem really is just this particular law. This is called the power law for logarithms. If you have some uh, quantity or variable raised to a power, you just can bring the power out in front.
which is all we needed to do here. And then the rest of it is straightforward algebra. So I hope this helps. Sometimes logarithms can be a little intimidating when you see them for the first time, but um, you just need to know some laws or properties of logarithms. And then the rest of it is just algebra, which you should be comfortable with. I hope this uh, explanation helped, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.